Hey everybody, welcome back to Cinefix. Today, we are starting a brand new show, a brand new adventure, I'd call it. And we're very excited, we've had this show in the works for a long time. Uh, and we've got some friends along with us this time, Juliana Strickland from Cinema and Spice, as well as Joe Penna, AKA Mystery Guitar Man. So, so this is what the show is. This is right? what the show is. We're gonna sit Just around and we're gonna eat a lot of eat stuff. Eat a ton, absolutely. Yeah. It's like the Fellowship of the Ring, but with food. God, I kind of wish that was the show we were doing now. But it's not. <laughs> Here's the show that we are actually doing. This show is called Superheroes in Training. We all watch superhero movies. Obviously, if you watch the channel, you know we're big fans of them. And one of the things we've always wondered is what does it take these guys to get into superhero shape? So that's exactly what we're doing. We found a trainer, a gentleman named Steve Zim, who that's his whole thing, is he gets people in shape to be super buff in movies. So we got him to help us out. We're going on a 10-week program to whip us <laughs> into superhero shape. So, what we're doing today is eating <laughs> for the last time Ever? Uh, for the next 10 weeks. 10 weeks? I we're thought you said eating. 10 days. 10 weeks, man. I, I was going to quit after 10 Sorry. hours. And then at the end of the 10 weeks, we're going to do a fun uh, film with us as our superhero characters. So, guys, dig in, I suppose. I guess we yeah. should eat. I, I grew up as an athlete, and so, like, I'm used to, like, you're not used to, but I used to be used to like two a days. <laughs> I'm in my mid thirties now and I've got a kid, so I'm wondering how much of that mentality is gonna like click back in. If I have a coach yelling at me, I'm thinking I might have some weird middle school flashbacks. I've never had a, a physical part of my life. The kind of person that I am is, is this, you know, like this is my workout. Very buff finger. So I'm afraid. I'm okay. very afraid. <laughs> um, I am looking forward to A, being fit again, and be curious as to like what the differences are between what I've done before in terms of working out and like what it takes to be camera ready and to like look different as opposed yeah. to just be fit. I've been in the shape to like play soccer for two hours and like feel fine. Yeah. But I still look like this. I've had the same experience as you where I get into a huge workout kick, but I feel like I don't look any different. Mm -hmm. And that will be so cool to figure out like what's the secret balance yeah to like what's the magic trick to like work out a lot and see results because that's the frustrating thing and why I think a lot of people quit working out is because they work out really hard for a month or two and they don't see any results and then they're like whatever, like I might as well not. Right. It's easier Which, to not. And we're gonna take all kinds of body measurements and they like mm -hmm. drawing blood to see what we're deficient in and like breathing into this machine that'll tell us our resting metabolic rate. And so we're gonna do a lot of like really fancy ways to like figure out how to most efficiently do all that stuff. Um, but we'll also be doing, you know, things that you can follow along at home. You know, it's like, no, I don't have this incredible piece of machinery, but here's how you could do it at home. Okay, so like in terms of, of what type of superhero you want to be, like by the end of it, like what are you expecting to have to do? I think my ideal is to be like the Black Widow. Like mm -hmm. I want to be toned, but not like crazy bulky. I don't want to look like the Hulk or something. You don't want to go She-Hulk? No, absolutely <laughs> not. I think the cool thing about the Black Widow is she's like, She's like stealthy and she's strong, but she still looks feminine, and that's what I want. I just want to take off my shirt without crying. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I take off my shirt, it's yeah, like what qualifies as, as crying? Like if it, oh, if we full can get on it, balling. Okay, so if we can get it down to just a, getting a little misty. Yeah, if then I, we can, I can get a little misty, that'd okay, be fine. Cool. I just don't want to look like I'm at a funeral every time I take my shirt. <laughs> and so to me, probably I'd say Hawkeye is the closest. Thing because he's kind of normal. He's just kind of ripped, yeah. But like normal sized, and he wears that like S and M -E leather thing, which, which is you kinda, want also. Yeah, which is kind of <laughs> like having your shirt off. So somewhere in between like Christian Gray and Hawkeye. Fifty Shades of Cruise. Fifty Shades of Cruise. Fifty yeah, Shades of Cruise. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Joe. What yeah. what are you looking for? I don't want to. I don't want to bulk up. I don't. I don't want the Lou Frigno. I don't even want like the, the the. I don't know, Captain America. I, I just want to be like a normal sized guy that, oh yeah, that guy's got muscles when you take his shirt off, you know? Okay. So like, like Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Get something form fitting on you and you can see the muscles coming yeah, out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh wow, I didn't know that that guy had muscles. See, I, I do want to bulk up. You do? I want to get stupid big. Like, like huge? I kind of want to get too big and then have to dial it back <laughs> the last couple <laughs> weeks. Like Thor, you know, like him and, and uh, you know, Henry Cavill as Man of Steel, like these guys are 
like, yeah, like to the point where they like can't really even <laughs> put their arms down. Yeah, you their arms to are just kind of. Like, use your arms. And, yeah, like, I, I you want to start losing your neck a little. I want to <laughs> look stupid in real life. I, at some point, our bodies are just going to be like weirdly misshapen because we're like halfway through this uh, radical body uh -huh. change. Oh, you know? like so, stopping halfway through a haircut. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, there's going to be <laughs> there's going to be plenty of weird stuff to go through, and and it's it's yeah. all going to be right here on the show. How strict is the diet going to be? I, we're going to find out. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's gonna be pretty strict because the to do to do what we want to do this quickly, like we have to do it the most efficient way possible. Right. And so they're like, oh my God. that's where all of these like really specific like metabolic rate measurements come in, and like uh, the blood test is gonna show us like what vitamins we're deficient in and things like that. So it's <laughs> it's it, it's gonna. I have no idea. And, and that that is the other interesting thing I think about doing this is like we the four of us are normal human beings, mm -hmm. right? like. We're not movie stars. It's not our job to to just get ripped. Like we're we're gonna be doing this in the course of our normal lives and doing our job and everything else. Mm -hmm. So it's it's gonna be because there, there there is that other myth that's like, oh well, anybody could do that. Like if it's just their their job or whatever. That's like, what I feel like. That's yeah. all they're doing like is getting paid to job. get ripped. And and so like it'll be curious to see how difficult or impossible <laughs> it may be <laughs> for you know for us regular folks to do it. Is right? there a lot of pooping too? Oh my god! Really? Hey, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. You can't wow. get abs. I mean, probably. You can't get abs if you're not pooping. Have a you lot. ever had a colonic? That's what Steve said. Steve said you can't get abs if you're not pooping. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm sure not. Yeah, no. There's gonna be some fiber supplements in our future. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right. Well, it's gonna be so let's bad. Do, let's get a colonic. I, I went I, once and I didn't know what it was, and I was <laughs> you so. You got a surprise what? colonic? That's How the worst yes. kind of colonic. <laughs> it's a long story. But then I went home that night. I was like, guys. The most horrible thing. <laughs> Someone shoved the tube yeah. up my butt. I did not understand the process. I read in a book that I should do it, so I did it. Oh, no. And That's the kind terrifying. of thing that we need to avoid. <laughs> read it. No. I read it in a book. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Guys, good luck. Cheers. Cheers. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Cruising hopefully, whiskey. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> Guys, stick around. Over the next 10 weeks, you're gonna get to see us uh, really get our asses kicked, I think, in a lot of different ways that Literally. are going to surprise all of us. <laughs> Hopefully not like, you know, enema surprise, but... So, stick around here on Cinefix for the next 10 weeks. Superheroes in Training starts right now after we're done with this meal. Oh, like we're gonna start working out right now? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Right here, but... <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna throw all this out. <laughs>